So my daughter and I are up here this weekend and we're up here because we're trying a new program called Sherpa. Um, S-H-R-P-A and it's a new site for content creators. So well, it's not new, but it's new to me rather. Um, but what they do is you apply for a collaboration if you're selected. Um, everyone's different, but this particular collaboration puts you up in a hotel for two nights and they give you a list of different destinations to visit. Um, so we're really excited to explore this part of Pennsylvania and uh, it just gives you a chance to visit new places. And if you think you'd be interested in being a content creator for Sherpa, I'll put my referral link um, in the description so you can check that out if you're interested. So this is where we are. Um, and you can see you have access to the river. This is just like a little community park, but this is an awesome spot if you're interested in fishing or boating, or if you just wanna go down and just walk by the river um, or have a place to have a picnic, this Riverside Park is a place you wanna check out. All right, so this is what the room looks like. So this has been newly remodeled. So I'll just kind of show you around here. Nice bathroom area, nice artwork. Everything looks super, super clean. I always like it when they have these dispensers and you don't have to use the single use bottles. This is better for the environment to have something like that. A nice looking bathroom and we've got two nice beds you've got your thermostat on the wall you've got a microwave here it's nice and clean got some additional storage you have a little mini fridge we've got a nice big tv here and then we've got a little mini coffee maker with some coffee and tea a nice desk set up if you want to get some work done while you're here. And I always like this too when they give you a variety of pillows so you can pick the one that's nice and comfy. Got some additional storage here. And you've got this cozy little chair for reading. Say that if you're up here in this part of Pennsylvania, if you're up here exploring the endless mountains in this type of area and you want to hit some different state parks and you don't want to camp or that kind of thing, this Comfort Inn is a really great option. Um, it's really nice. Like I said, it's been totally remodeled. Everything is brand new. Um, really nice, clean place to stay. Good morning, everybody. Um, so it's about ooh, seven o'clock on a Saturday and it's kind of a miracle because my 17 year old had breakfast already and is out on the hiking trail with me. So we're gonna hike the Iroquois Trail today. You can definitely hear some road noise from down below. That's kind of to be expected. Some pretty cool rock formations up there. You can just hear so many birds up in these trees. It's crazy this time of morning. All right guys, well I hope you enjoyed getting a kind of sneak peek here at the Iroquois Trail and I'll have some more information about distance and the two parking lots and things like that in the description. But if you're looking for just an easy kind of family friendly flat trail in the area, this is your trail. You should really check it out. Um, like I said, we saw and heard a number of birds, um, really cool rock formations. You've got some good height to give you some nice views out there, especially when the leaves would fall off the trees. All right, so we're here to check out the scenic overlook and check out this awesome bridge. Now we are at the Nicholson Bridge viewpoint. This viaduct is really an engineering marvel. When you sit back and look at it, it's so impressive. So the bridge is 2,375 feet long and it's 240 feet above the valley floor. So the bridge still carries train traffic to this day. Bridge construction started in May of 1912 and it finished in November 1915 and it cost $1.4 million. And at the time of completion, this was the largest concrete structure in the world and it didn't get surpassed till 50 years later when a larger concrete bridge was built in the United States. We had a great time checking out Wyoming County, Pennsylvania. We got to go to the Nicholson Bridge Day Festival, which was a lot of fun. 
lot of good things to eat and purchase there. Um, we also got to go to the Primitive Outdoorsman Show, which was pretty cool to see. We got to see the Dietrich Theater, the Wyoming County Historical Society, and you're going to see some additional hiking that we did coming up in some other videos on our channel. So in addition to what you see here, we also hiked at Miller Mountain, a section of that in the Pinchot State Forest. We also visited Little Rocky Glen Preserve and Vosburg Neck. So you're going to be seeing them in some other videos on the channel. Thanks for watching.